the lack of amenities in Woolwich itself? Uh, to be honest, I think it's pretty appalling. Um, I've been living here for a year, and um, my interests are things like the cinema, um, theatre, uh, dance, and there's absolutely nothing that I found for me to actually drew to. Um, so if I want to enjoy those things, I have to travel a very long way. Would, would you say that there are things to do in Woolwich? In, um... No. No, there's no. nothing to do. Nothing Apart to do. from no walking around, yeah. Which is not good here because we have uh, lots of the crime here, lots of the... Uh, what is it? Uh, lots of the robbery here and... Uh, but they don't care. If something happened to our surgery, we ring and they will say, oh, we will come over there and we will come. The police doesn't care. And if something happens, if someone comes and uh, nicks something, uh, but they don't care. But they, they should do a proper job here. But that's not. Well, really, there aren't that many, are there? Especially for the young people. Um, you know, there's lots more they could do instead of probably opening these pound shops or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you think about the idea of a cinema stroke uh, theatre? Brilliant. Yeah, we used to have one just down the end of the road there. Well, I believe it's a church now, but yeah, brilliant. Here we are on Wellington Street in Woolwich, outside the former Hippodrome Theatre, which was built in 1900, closed in 1939, reopened as a cinema in 1955 with the Dam Busters, closed in 1982, and from then on it's been a ver variety of nightclubs, finally ending with the one behind us, Entice. Now derelict, ooh, is derelict a bad word? Now closed, with a view hopefully of reopening as a venue for bands, for uh, cinema, Theatre. And if there was a, a, a theatre or a, a cinema in Woolwich, would you would you use it? Definitely, 24/7. Yeah. <laughs> I was going on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> Definitely, um, because you know when you think about it in the evening, there is nothing at all for the young, you know, 14 year olds that sort of age. Nothing at all. Nothing that comes close to something like Lewisham Theatre or anything like that, or even um, Iris. My son used to act at Eris before he became uh, an actor, like a qualified one. Right, right. So, yeah, we've got no culture. If they want it up and coming, we want some culture. Um, I, I've been actually shocked since I moved here by the lack of facilities, the lack of uh, amenities for people to enjoy, a lot of leisure things for them to do. And I can't help thinking that it actually uh, you know, contributes in some way to some, some of the problems in the area. Mm. Um, I've actually joined a group um, which is trying to sort of push for, for more cultural activities in the area. Um, but we don't really seem to be getting an awful lot of uh, assistance, really. Well, what's that? It's, it's called the Plumstead Integration Project. And the idea is to try and bring the different communities in the area together. Um, but through cultural activities, um, whether that be uh, acting, whether it be dance, whether it be music, or whether it be film, um, and what we what we're finding, I think, is that people want these these sorts of uh, um, of activities. They want to join in. They want to have these things available, but no one's providing it for them. What do you think about uh, the idea of a theatre or a cinema in Woolwich? I think a theatre would be a good idea, along with a cinema. I think they could actually make it into one multi-complex. So you actually have a cinema um, and a theatre in the same building. Kind of like an art centre. Indeed, it could work. I need some things yeah, because, got... tell you the truth, they've messed up our, they've, they've messed up our uh, entertainment. The clubs are shutting. Reese Weekend, you've only indoors and church to go to. Mm. So you need just, for tourists as well, you need something. Yeah.
there are plenty of places where people can do their shopping. We can, we can shop 24-7. There's already a, a Sainsbury's here. I should say there are more supermarkets to come. What people need is more... Uh, amenities, more things for them to actually fill their, their, their leisure time uh, to, to improve the quality of life here and at the moment uh, it seems that some things like, like shopping are being overcompensated for and, and other things are just being completely ignored and I think there's a, there's a real demand for, for some other activities for people to take part in. Yes. Entertainment is a yes. good theatre. Entertainment. Or, Entertainment. Uh, theatre or movie or swimming pool or... The building has two tiers. Downstairs can easily hold four to five hundred people, and then there's the stage area, can accommodate theatre, band, or orchestra. Talking to people about ideas. I, I like art, and I did art in secondary school, so I yeah, would she, mind yeah, that. Yeah. You're going there, yeah. Yeah, I would actually. Art, <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is the DLR, it's two minutes walk from the venue and it goes to Canning Town and then to Bank. Behind me is Woolwich Arsenal train station, which is two minutes walk from the venue. From London Bridge, it's 20 minutes on the train. But if, if you had a theatre, say, and that uh, Ken Dodd and Diddy Man came, would you go? Yes. <laughs>